George Orwell, Animal Farm. It is a history of a revolution that went wrong and of the excellent excuses that were forthcoming at every step for the perversion of the original doctrine, wrote all for himself in the original blurb for the first edition of Animal Farm in 1945. This book treats about fundamental political and economical system. Picture this, please. A bunch of unhappy, mistreated and overworked animals living in a farm, owned and controlled by a very much detested farmer, Mr. Jones. One day, the animals decide to rebel, throw him out, take over the farm and install new rules which will apply to everyone. At first, everyone was happy, everything ran smoothly, and everyone was equal. What we'll possibly get wrong? Some animals, however, find a way to manipulate others, to gain power, so the rules won't apply to them anymore. You can imagine what happened to next. Some animals became so much hated like Mr. Jones himself, so the history took a full circle. Would it be a happy ending? George Orwell paints a simple but spectacular picture of the road from revolution to tyranny. The events of the story are the allegory of the Bolsheviks overthrow the Tsar in order to establish a communist regime. The spectacular prose writer used metaphor of animals which live in the farm, described and explained what humans are capable of to gain power. My favourite character in this book is Moses, the raven, because he overlooks all animals. He spreads stories about Sugar Candy Mountain, where all poor animals go to rest after the life of labour. This motivates most animals, and they carry on working hard. Moses represents priests. Priests look after and support morally people into the road to heaven. The moral of this book is that all animals, humans, are equal, but some are more equal than others. This story is much alive in present time. North Korea, Russia, Belarus, Cambodia, Eritrea, Bahrain, Syria, Venezuela, and China, just to name a few countries run by dictators. People suffer inequality, many working hard for few, but above all, their freedom is compromised in many cases. Everyone should read this book to have a wider understanding of the true world around us, to have an opportunity to choose in which system we would like to live on.